What's up guys? Dave Mate. Drinking that Yerba Mate tea, of course. Para siempre. Forever. Salud. For years I've spoken about uh, society conforming, being yourself, creativity, innovation, harnessing your power, harnessing your everything that's in you, that you are, that you will be. And if I were to boil it all down, I would say that what I'm really talking about here with all these dispersive concepts would be learning how to live in the world, your world. I often have a hard time trying to figure out what is this world that we speak of? Is this this world that's outside of us? Is it inside of us? Is it both? When people say the world, what are we talking about? Are we talking about the earth, the universe, the solar system, beyond? Or are we talking about our current state of being, our mentality, our mind? Are we talking about our actions, what happens in our day-to-day -day lives? Maybe it's all, maybe it's none. Right now, when I'm speaking about the world in this particular context, I'm talking about society. There's a lot going on in society. Society is evolving. Society is unique to this moment. No society has ever been the same. And when I sort of tap into my feelings of what's going on in this society, I come to see that there's a lot of people, there's a lot of energies, there's a lot of situations, there's a lot of institutions, there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, but then there's you. And in this a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, we have these systems that sort of want to pull you into their path. They want to make you become somebody, you know, institutionalize you, go to school, get the job, get the white picket fence. We've all heard this story told a million times. There's nothing new. You know, you have some people that are so-called friends that uh, seem to have your best interests at heart, but at the end of the day, you kind of put that into question when they're not really supporting you, they don't really help you, they don't really care too much other than conversation. That's okay. Then you have some sincere people who do want to help you. That's great too. There's always a up and a down to everything, every situation. You know, I've spoken about college. Go to college, you know, get a degree. Uh, there's a great thing about that. Going to college is good. Get the experience, get the degree, that's great. Then there's also a downside to it where college tries to just give you this certificate, push you forward to become an employee for the rest of your life. You know, then there's going to get the corporate job, you know, uh, go to Wall Street, go to one of the accounting firms or go to a big, any firm, get the high paying job, work your way up the ladder and do all that. Great. But then look at the flip side, that could kind of stunt your creativity that could kind of stunt your development into uh being something that you're not so again there's always this du duality uh perhaps even a dichotomy in society i'm not going to say any path is right or any path is wrong this is the world that's outside of us that i currently see going on then we have these things called social networks facebook youtube twitter tumblr instagram uh, I'm not going to go too much into that, but to just touch upon it for a second, um, this is a huge development in our society. Uh, in many ways, it's helped us communicate in ways that we've never been able to do before. That's amazing. 
uh, in many ways, people, creative people, have been able to bypass publishers and, you know, the arbiters of these gates that allow people to get their work out there and be recognized. Uh, the internet has allowed me to run my business, circleofdrink.com, that allows me to uh, share this drink that I love so much that you always see me drinking, Yerba Mate. So in a positive light, these social networks are very great, help us with communication. In a sort of bleaker, darker light, uh, I believe that these social networks have led us to uh, ironically isolate ourselves. I believe that they've led us to increased anxiety, increased feelings of isolation and depression and relying on forces that seem to continue to push you down as opposed to pull you up. I mean, look at Facebook and look at what's going on just through the social commentary of your friends or your peers or your associates. Don't you just see a lot of negative stuff on Facebook all day? Uh, aided with the media, negative things are always highlighted and they, of course, work their way to our Facebook pages and Twitter pages and Instagram pages and people uh, believe it or not, seem to sort of feed upon this negativity, which is, I find, very interesting. Um, so that's the sort of state, as I see it right now, a sort of cursory discussion on this outer world. But to get back to this pre the premise here, the world is here. It's inside. And no matter what's going on outside, corruption, Illuminati, Illuminati, or good things, bad things, or great things, creative things, those things are immaterial, I believe. I think that they can only survive or will only be present, rather, on a very superficial level. Everything outside of you is just this patina, this patina of living here on Earth. And it's a game. Uh, it could be a fun game, it could be a sad game, it could be a, an amazing game, it could be a depressing game. These things are transient. The game is not fixed. The game is not real. The only real thing, as far as I could see, in my short span on this instance of my period on Earth, is that what's going on inside here. That is the world, inside of you. And the way that I'm beginning to see it is, to the extent in which you could control this inner world, that you could remain in a state of positivity, that you could be able to control your energy to manifest what you want to do, regardless of what's going on in the outer world, regardless of what's going on with people trying to stop you, regardless of going of what's going on with you know jealousy, envy, anger, depression, hate, racism, classism, elitism, speciesism, what have you, to that extent in which you could control what's going on in the world inside of you which is the only world then you are free then you are powerful then you are able to transcend now these words like free powerful transcend enlightenment nirvana samadhi satori they've all become watered down and diluted especially over the past 20 to 40 years with this whole new age movement and now we have this neo new age movement just in the past 10 15 years thousands of books thousands of cds thousands of dvds thousands of mp3s out there trying to uh ask you for your visa mastercard amex card whatever in order to get enlightenment so we have a whole new breed of people in the society uh, who believe that if you read certain books, watch certain tapes, or sit in a certain uh, position for 20 minutes a day, that you are going to be uh, attain this place called freedom or this place called enlightenment, and you're, everything's going to be okay. But I don't think it works that way. I don't think it ever has. Which is to say that these so-called people who are enlightened are not above uh, these earthly matters that we have to deal with here on this society. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that if you 
go through the work and it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of energy it takes a lot of time on some level but on the other level there is no energy there is no work there is no time it's now it's happening right now these all things are concepts that if you go through these things and are able to successfully navigate through this abyss of societal interactions and able to kind of just push that to the background and bring to the foreground your own world and you become the master of your own world then I think that you are able to see not with these physical eyes but are able to see for the first time and with this sight comes a great almost comical understanding that no matter what is happening on this exterior world whether it's people hating you jealousy whatever like I spoke about before that you are able to remain in a state of center you're able to hold on to the center and once you are able to hold on to it, once you get a little taste for it even that center never goes away no matter how chaotic the external world becomes and this world and this current age 2013 is extremely chaotic it's extremely uh, electrify electrifying in terms of energies and institutions and you know churches and armies and wars what have you hold on to the center get to the center and don't think that you need books people or even authority giving uh, authority from other people giving you the green light but the hardest thing to see is that the world the outer world the society wants you to believe that you have to succeed you have to pass this certain test in order to get to this understanding maybe you have to go to a certain school a certain institution or get the green light from a certain person in authority no no there is nobody greater than you why would you have to wait for the authority for anybody else this concept of a world keep this on the forefront of your mind think about it what is the world keep on thinking about it. I've been thinking about it since as far as I can remember and it has led me to great understandings this world remember what is this world is it the earth is it the universe is it the society or is it inside of you and it's ever-present it's omnipotent it's omnipresent and if you are able to control your world which is the only world then you were able to see through all the bullshit all the drama and you were able to accept that feelings and emotions are okay no matter what you're going through feelings and emotions are okay they are part of the human condition but to allow them to dictate your life to allow them to control your moves and your actions is to remain a slave to this external world and as long as you're a slave to this external world you cannot transcend you cannot truly see and without sight you're blind so my name is Dave Monte guys uh, this video I'm doing for mind pedals but if you're also following me on my circle of drink videos on my YouTube page check that out and hope this gives you some food for thought salute ciao